A three digit number ABC on multiplication with D gives 37 DD where ABC and D are different non zero digits. What is the value of A plus B plus C? ABC into D giving 37 DD. I am writing this as 3700 plus DD. Now DD using decimal system I can write it as 10D plus D which is 11D. Now bringing D this side in denominator. So This is three seven double zero by D plus eleven D by D D D cancels here. So that is thirty seven hundred by D plus eleven. This is integer. This should be integer so that A B C is integer. Now D should be factor of thirty seven hundred. Thirty seven hundred. I am writing it as thirty seven into hundred by D. So thirty seven is prime number. And D takes the values from one to nine. All are digits, right? If you have D is equal to one, that is thirty seven hundred plus eleven. This is a four digit number, so D cannot be one. If you take D is equal to two, that is thirty seven into fifty plus eleven. Thirty fifty is a fifteen hundred, so it's more than fifteen hundred four digit number. So D cannot be two. D cannot be three because it won't divide hundred. Let's take D as four. So thirty seven into hundred by four that is twenty five plus eleven. Thirty seven twenty five is a nine twenty five plus eleven. This is a six three nine. So A B C can be this. This happened when D is equal to four. All the digits are different and non-zero. So A B C can be this. Let's say when D is equal to five. In that case, thirty-seven into twenty hundred by five is twenty. So thirty-seven into twenty plus eleven. This is seven forty plus eleven. That is seven fifty-one. Whereas D is equal to five here. D and B both are same, but they have to be different. So D cannot be five. D cannot be six, seven, eight, nine because they won't divide hundred. They anyway won't divide thirty-seven because thirty-seven is prime. So D is equal to four. This is the only possibility we got. A B C as nine thirty-six. Now A plus B plus C nine plus three plus six. That is eighteen. Answer A. For any choices of values of x, y, and z, the six-digit number of the form x, y, z, x, y, z is divisible by. We have seen similar problems in number system chapter. X, y, z, x, y, z is x, y, z into thousand one. X, y, z is a three-digit number. X, y, z are three digits. Now thousand one is seven into eleven into thirteen. This is divisible by seven, eleven, and thirteen. Answer D. One twenty five identical cubes are arranged in the form of a cubical block. How many cubes are surrounded by other cubes from each side? So this cubical block has one twenty five identical cubes. Each cube of one unit, one centimeter length, one centimeter breadth, one centimeter height. Five centimeters length, five centimeters breadth. Five centimeters height. Five into five into five. One twenty-five. This has twenty-five cubes. Twenty-five into five. One twenty-five. This number of cubes is nothing but the volume. Now, outer surface cubes are not surrounded by other cubes from each side. Only these cubes are surrounded by other cubes from each side. This side one layer gone. This side one layer gone. Top side, bottom side one one layer gone. Front side, back side one layer gone. So we are left with cubical block of three centimeters. How many cubes are there? Three into three into three. Twenty seven. Answer A. How many distinct eight-digit numbers can be formed by rearranging the digits of the number one one two two three three four four such that odd digits occupy odd positions and even digits occupy even positions? These are odd positions. These are even positions. These are odd digits. These are even digits. Four odd digits in four places. Four odd places. In how many ways we can arrange them? Four factorial by two digits are same. We have to divide with two factorial. Two digits are same. We have to divide with two factorial. And even digits in even places. Four factorial by two factorial into two factorial. Two twos are same. Two fours are same. Now four into three into two into one by two into one into two into one into four into three into two into one by. Two into one into two into one 
two twos are four, four cancels, two twos are four, four cancels, three twos are six, three twos are six, six six are thirty six. Answer is C. ABC working independently can do a piece of work in eight, sixteen, and twelve days respectively. A alone works on Monday. B alone works on Tuesday. C alone works on Wednesday. A alone again works on Thursday, and so on. They are working on alternative days starting from Monday. Consider the following statements: The work will be finished on Thursday. The work will be finished in ten days. Which of the above statements is a correct? Problem based on time and work. We can take total work done as LCM of these days. That is forty-eight. A does six units of work a day. B three units. C four units. In three days, they do thirteen units of work. Thirteen into three. Three into three. Multiplying with three on both sides. So thirty-nine units of work in nine days. A starts the work first on Monday. Starting Monday, what is the ninth day? That is Tuesday. See, from Monday to Sunday, seven days. Again, Monday eighth day. Tuesday is ninth day. On tenth day, again A will be doing the work. That is Wednesday. So thirty-nine plus A does six units. Forty-five. We have not completed the work. Thursday B does the work. Three units. So forty-five plus three. Forty-eight units. Yes, total work done on eleventh day. That is Thursday. Work will be finished on Thursday. Yes, the work will be finished in ten days. No, it's eleven days. So statement one is correct. Answer A.